Hey, what is up, everybody? Got a game here for you guys in tandem. It's quick, it's smooth, it's a lot of damage. It's a nightmare for these Arkansas. They came in here thinking they were probably going to take six cannons and dominate, but unfortunately, we had different plans for them. Now, this is an obvious no brainer matchup. Air power is superior, especially against only two overlapping anti air here. We're going to completely overwhelm it. And it's gonna feel like nothing. That guy right there, he's gonna smoke, he's gonna hide. About the only thing he could do, I was literally about to take him out. But me, being me, I'm completely stubborn. Instead of moving on to some other target here, I'm gonna just flex on him and literally stay above him. I generally don't start anything that I can't finish, and that's kinda how I just play. I'm going to cram these down his throat with a little chip damage from the drone ship. We're going to clean him up. So Kaku plays CV a lot too. He's really good. Um, he does really good this game. I think he's going to pull out a total of 2.5 mil out of this on just the Avenger alone. The harassment that we are doing combined here is really just unmatched. The only thing I think that could have made it even faster would be J-35s and maybe a 222 or a nuclear blackbird. Now I've been really enjoying the new strike fighters and the F-2s are without a doubt on the top three or top four strike fighters. Like I would argue almost better than Kill Switch. The only reason Kill Switch is obviously still better is because of the occasional situations like if we were here and I had Kill Switch, I could just hover and completely destroy him. I'm going to miss the lock and go a little too low, but we're going to just again cram it down his throat. Drone's not in a bad spot here and he's going to flare right in front of me for whatever reason and we're going to make him pay for it. The Strike Fighter is coming around pretty nicely. He's pretty much one shot. I hate when people are like this. It's been happening a lot lately. And this guy is coming around the corner, he thought he was going to help his teammate, but unfortunately all he's going to catch is just a face full of air superiority. Now the Cuss FS is definitely by far my favorite drone. It's a great fire and forget tool with good range, good damage, good armament, and anti-sub. And it's at a good price. I'm pretty much just kind of stalling time waiting for the bomber right now. Here's the... F oh yeah, I go back to the drone here, I'm sorry. We're going to hit him with the drone, and then we're going to deploy the bomber. I should actually deploy the helicopter there, too. That would have maybe actually continued my, uh, my combo here. I lose it, unfortunately. And these fighters are right in position, but we don't need it. We had good, good discipline there. And I wanted to light them up and just hit it, but it would have been a complete waste. Luckily, we didn't. We had it right here. I don't think anyone takes me out. We'll see. <laughs> Turn off the hacks. Some hackizations going on here. Oh, poor guy. So, KBX or 222? I'm sorry, KBX or P1? Uh, P1 for me. I like I like Fire and Forget because of the way I play, as you can tell here. And KBX is really good and, and does work with Fire and Forget. It just that I. It's just that I find that its torpedoes can sometimes not get where I want them to be as consistently as, say, P1's anti-player missile, you know what I mean? So if I had to say which one's better, definitely P1. Now there has been a really popular opening with KBX lately, especially where people just fly in with it because of the torpedoes and stuff like that hit them, and they do a loop. And if you can, you can technically get like two torpedoes in on the loop, and you open up for a good like 400k or something, or just the bomber alone, but I don't know. It's a little inconsistent for me. You would have to, because your fighters, in that time that you're constantly managing that bomber, your fighters are either losing spot, it depends on the map, like it'd be hard to manage your, your spots right afterwards, you can guarantee your spots. So, like, I don't know. I just have a method that. It's very consistent on the way I open. And that's why I do what I do and play the way that I play. I don't mind trying other things out and stuff like that. And I like watching other people play. It's because I learn different things. But 
for the most part, I don't know, the methods that I play with is pretty, is pretty consistent, I feel like. And I cannot wait for the SR-71 Blackbird to come out because the accusations are going to be real. And I cannot wait to try it out with the Nighthawks and just completely wipe out everyone's FPS on the other team. It's going to be glorious. And if our storm would just give us one really good usable nuclear drone, I'm going to crash the whole enemy team <laughs> just by dropping their FPS. It's going to be great. I really hope our storm comes up with a nuclear drone at some point. It'd be absurd, but it'd be great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Blackbird. I'm definitely going to buy it. I hope it's in time for tandem because it's going to be even better. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this approach. This is the first time that I've commented through an entire video like this before. So if you watch this video all the way through, be sure to hit the like button and go back and comment your thoughts below.